On January 11th, the Coral Gables community gathered at 2151 Salcedo Street to take part in the groundbreaking ceremony of the future public safety building. Together with the city employees and other guests, the city commission used their hard hats and shovels to mark the start of this highly anticipated project. City manager Peter Iglesias, along with other city officials, tell us why a new public safety building is just what the city needs. It's very important to have a building that's sustainable. We saw what happened in the, in the panhandle with Hurricane Michael. When you have something like that, when you have an, an, an event like that which we're very susceptible to, then we realize how important it is to make our public safety buildings uh, sustainable. Well, this is going to be a world-class facility that's long overdue for the city of Coral Gables. Not only are we building our probably top most important project in the city's history in reference to public safety, but what we're doing here is we're adding another layer of protection and response times to the residents in the north who sorely have needed that and have been wanting it for such a long time. The building that we have now is, is older uh, and it's, in, it's at a point where we really needed a new facility, but it took a lot of commitment from a lot of different people over the years, different commissions, uh, different city managers, different uh, chiefs of police, etc. Uh, to make this a possibility, but we're here today and we're very excited. It's the legacy for the future. Uh, it's going to house the police and firefighters. It's a community building uh, and it's going to keep our members safe, but as well it's going to help us protect the community even better. Not only will this new public safety building have state-of-the-art facilities and equipment, but it will also be built at the ideal location to better serve Coral Gables residents. This fire station and the location of this fire station administration building actually brings us closer to where we have most of our calls. So it is uh, best suited for our response times and for our availability to where most of the emergencies happen in the north end. Similarly to the old building, the new public safety complex will function as the city's police headquarters, fire department, 911 call center, first responders dispatch center, EOC Command and Operations, Labor Relations Department, Human Resources Department, Fire Station 1, and IT Department. The project is estimated to reach its completion in the fall of 2020. For more information, please visit coralgables.com slash public safety building. For Coral Gables TV, I'm Shakira Mollette.